Getting a straightforward answer on this is not as easy as you might think. It's just a sustain pedal, right? It's just a switch. Well, if you've just come to the video because you want an answer to the question of how to set it up, I will show you that first. In complete control, click on the MIDI button, a little sort of MIDI icon at the top right hand side here. Click on the pedals tab and make sure you've got tip selected here. Set the mode to switch and set this type to control change. We're not doing a program change here, we're doing a control change. The MIDI channel will probably be channel one, but it may be something different to you, for you, but um, set it to channel one initially. The CC number that you're changing is 64 because that is the MIDI standard for a sustain pedal. So always have that set to 64. Set the mode to gate and set the off value to zero and the on value here to 127. There you go, nothing else to it. If you click on ring, I have that set to off. You know, the switch mode and off. It's not really doing anything, but the tip is what counts here. And there we are. Hopefully that will help you set up your sustain pedal. Now, for the second part of the video here, I want to go into a little bit more detail because this is actually a correction to a previous video that I have now deleted. Originally, when I came to set up my sustain pedal, in my case, I'm using the M Audio SP2 sustain pedal, and I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to set it up correctly. I thought it's just a switch, just, it just goes on and off and whatever, no, no problem. But it wasn't straightforward at all, and I ended up getting it set up as an expression pedal, so essentially a calibrated expression pedal. Expression pedal will have multiple values across its movement, you know, in a similar way to a modulation wheel does on a, on a keyboard. And I got it set up fine like that, and I thought, great, I, I'm going to put that out as a video because this might be, might be tricky for some people to set up, so it might be helpful uh, in getting, you know, getting them up and running. Unfortunately, I then came across some problems where I was getting uh, voices essentially cutting off while I was playing with um, the sustain pedal down, almost as if it was running out of voices. Uh, what I've actually found is that if I just bring in this MIDI information uh, window here, this is a really nice tool. It's been really helpful in this in just diagnosing this problem. So anyway, I'll just, just show you how this works at the moment. So if I press my MIDI pedal, MIDI pedal, uh, MIDI pedal, the sustain pedal on, you get just one single line of MIDI information saying this pedal has now turned on. You can see it's at a value of 127, it's on CC64, perfect. And then when, when I let go, there we are, it's now at zero. So it's just a simple on, off. There is no in between, it's just on, off, on, off. If I change this value over here to, on the uh, this side to, uh, let's say one, two, five, and press it, I now get a value of one, two, five coming in. Perfect, makes perfect sense. When I was had it set to an expression pedal, because it was only an on-off pedal, it was just sending one continuous stream of ons in a row, and I'm guessing that's what was causing the problem. So in a similar way to if I move the modulation wheel on the keyboard here, as I move that wheel, because this wheel has 127 values essentially from here, up to here, I get this continuous stream of MIDI uh, events coming in. Let me just move this window up slightly so you can see the bottom. And uh, that's what I was getting, but all value 127, just continuous value 127 coming in when I had it on. And that was causing issues when I was playing. So this has definitely 100% solved those issues. I don't know whether there's another way you can set this up. Maybe there is. There's normally multiple ways to do these kind of, <laughs> kind of things. But for me, on an M Audio SP2 pedal, this is now working okay. So if I go back to my main window here and I look at my piano, this is how it would normally sound if I've got this set up right. Yes, I have, yeah. Okay. That's how it would normally sound, so let's now just put the sustain pedal in. And you can actually hear, if you listen very closely, you can hear the actual sound of the um, the sort of dampeners coming away from the strings, which is such a nice touch. I mean, these, these are great plugins, these. Um, so let's have a quick play on that with the sustain pedal down.
And it, it sounds great. Uh, and just to prove that you don't get, I'm just going to play a couple of different chords here and just keep the susp- sustain pedal held down and you can see that you don't get any drop-offs of the notes at all. Now, I wouldn't normally play like that because it becomes a bit of a mess. You really have to use the sustain pedal as you're playing to, uh, well, you, if you're watching this, you probably know how to use a sustain pedal. But you get the point. You've got a nice, clean run of notes, no cutoffs happening whatsoever, and it sounds absolutely great. So hopefully that is the right way to do it, and hopefully that will help you. Uh, if you've got any comments or if you've got any other ways of doing it or if I've missed messed something up here or not understood something correctly, then please do put a comment down below and uh, help both myself out and anyone else that happens to come across this video. Many thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.